Thank you. Hi, guys. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. Um, so, uh, Alicia, uh, because Musa's powers were all internal, what is the most challenging part of playing an empath? Um, I think it's just having just something grumbling in your tummy all the time, like having all these emotions riled up, but you have to keep it so down, like it all has to be in here. Um, and I think that's the most difficult thing to do um, because it's quite painful to do. And as an actor, like everybody else gets to like shoot things and like, and you have to... <laughs> To, to to display it all on your face like wasn't that difficult <laughs> it, it it was especially like every time we did a scene it would be like now we need to look into the eyes um but I think it's really great have knowing what her backstory is in order for her to feel all this emotion and go in she's actually going through quite a lot of shit and she's she's in a school with loads of teenagers that are just feeling round up all the time so it, it's all kind of there anyway once you've done the homework okay um so Stella no Hannah <laughs> um when we first meet Stella <laughs> she's a bit of an antagonist so until we get to know her yeah. so what did you enjoy more playing the villainy part of her or when she's part of the hero squad I think it was such a treat to be able to kind of be cruel, but know that no one's feelings were getting hurt. It was like really good fun. Um, but honestly, when, when you know, all the moments where we see her soften and, and smiling and, and connecting with the girls, like mm. it was just such a relief because I was like, I love my friends so much. It's really hard to pretend that we don't get on. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> went from 100% effort to like zero effort, which is great. Mm. So Alicia, um, in the original series, um, Musa is in a relationship with the Riven, and there's a lot of fans out there who love them together. So do you think <laughs> the fans have a shot of seeing that on screen? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> there was one scene in series yeah. one uh, which kind of tickled it a little bit, but um, who knows? Okay. So Hannah, so Stella's obviously dealing with a lot of issues with her mother. Um, do you think we'll see her rebelling against her more in season two? What do you hope? Oh, I hope so. Stella is such a little, like, she's got a fire burning inside of her. She's definitely got so much to her. I think she, you know, her kind of epic journey is to really stand up to her mom and to step into her mm. own power and her own self-esteem, I guess. So definitely definitely there's there's scope for her to stand up to her mom so um alicia in in season one um musa has a secret relationship with sam which allows her to grow more so how would you like to see her grow more in season two um i think it would be great if she learned more about her powers in order to mm. fight some battles because I don't know if you remember, but um, there's a battle where she kind of just goes like this. And then she says, <laughs> I don't think it's dead yet. Um, so I think, I think it'd be really great if she could fight next season. Okay. And Hannah, um, so which one of the Wings characters do you think you are, are more like? honest I think I'm probably most like Tara in, re in real life I feel like that's I don't know maybe Alicia <laughs> could shed more light on that no, I, I feel agree like actually nice. to be fair <laughs> <laughs> yeah and Alicia if you could have any of the Winx powers which one would you want um I think I think it would be uh so that I can um create my own bouquets of flowers <laughs> <laughs> and you Hannah which power would you want um I think I'd, I'd like to go down the route of Tinkerbell and and, and be an air fairy mm. a little bit different <laughs> that's a brilliant answer thank you so much guys that was perfect thank you thank you so 